Hey Eric, this is at the Tinker Suite uh, with Lord Beaverbrook. Uh, you can see the slices that he has. So I'm going to do a little print test, but I just thought I'd show you the camera view, uh, different views, top, side, front, uh, then model view, uh, default, and then um, anyways, you can go in from model view to the uh, uh, the actual uh, uh, slice view um, with this and there's a uh, layer this is the slice view showing the layers and you can actually go down to show which is really cool the slices of Lord Beaverbrook and you can view it from any angle it's kind of neat how it's gonna print with the hollow and uh, anyway just thought it was pretty cool and this little uh, part over here anyways um, and and uh, anyways, you can put a destination for that. Uh, it's a .dot g um, file, so you can go in and put it where you want. And I made a Lord uh, Beaverbrook Ditto Pro .dot g that's six megs. That you just put that on the card. You can put a card in your computer and save it directly. But I prefer to put it on the desktop, and especially if you got a big file like this that's six megs. Um, you know, and uh, and I go. Uh, this is where you slice, and this is where you import an object to the build platform. This is where you slice, and I'll just show you the slice options. So in here, you can go high resolution, the infill, what type of filament that you're using, and uh, and again, it shows the Ditto Pro printer. And uh, anyways, you just go uh, um, slice, and. Uh, and away it goes. It prepares it. It takes a while, but uh, um, it's not too bad. I thought it was uh, going to take a while for uh, um, this the software, but as when it gets going, you'll see here it's at one percent. It gets going a little bit faster, but it, you know, in ten minutes, it'll be done. You can abort it anytime you want to. But um, but anyways, that's uh, the Tinker Suite. Thanks.